today is going to be another Corvette project. Somebody said that it looks like I frame this intentionally so that it's just my beard. I don't mean to. I just, I try not to look at the screen because it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Now we're moving on to, if I had a mod list for drift car mod number three. Mod number one was already done, the limited slip diff, because it comes factory. Uh, mod number two would be coilovers, and then three would be seat and steering wheel. Today we're just doing the steering wheel, but we're halfway there. So Carmine over at Boosted Factory hit me up and was like, hey man, I saw that you got the Corvette like the day the video went out. And he's like, I really want to help out with the project. Like, do you need a steering wheel set up? And I was like, of course I need a steering wheel set up. That's like one of the first mods. So he wrote this nice letter. Hope you enjoyed the new steering wheel setup for the C5 project. Glad we were able to help out. We've really come to enjoy your content, especially the Thermal Miata drifting. Be sure to let us know if we can help in any way. Carmine and the BF Boosted Factory team. Super, super awesome guys. It's very rare that a company wants to work with you just because they enjoy the project and the content, not like just to get promotion. So, huge shout out to them. Check them out. Uh, well, is it gonna focus? Check them out. Really, really cool people. I, I, I couldn't ask for cooler people to work with. Also, they they didn't even tell me I made stickers of my, my logo and this one, which is like a, their logo and my logo together. How freaking sick is that? And a bunch of other stickers, which I'm very excited about. Alright, so the steering wheel. Fed's looking in the background because he is the steering wheel install expert. He's installed like three in the past couple months in different vehicles. I haven't installed one in probably two or three years. So he's gonna steer head this project. I'll have him, he's gonna steer head it, get it. I actually made that pun earlier, didn't even realize I made it. It was <laughs> patriotic because he's punny AF. Uh, <laughs> so, oh uh, man, what was I gonna say? He'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, steering wheel, it's NRG, it's the uh, Galaxy Wood which I thought would look really cool. It's a little flashy, but like still subtle at the same time. So I think it fits with like the theme of this car. Like I'm not going full blown flashy, but I'm also definitely not keeping it subtle. Oh shit. We have the Striker 2.8 quick release. Uh, so it's like they're like, I think 2.0 or 2.5. It's, it's not the one with the crazy big paddles, obviously it's smaller, but it's got this cool like gold pin striping thing going on around it which will match the theme of other stuff that I can't talk about yet, because it's still a secret. <laughs> Don't say anything. So I know there are a lot of really cool things coming to this car that I'm really, really stoked about. And then, obviously the hub adapter to adapt it to where the stock wheel would go. So, that is what we're doing tonight. We're installing this amazing setup that I'm really, really hyped about. This is like one of those things I always want to do first and end up doing like way down the road, but I think steering wheel and seat are underrated. They're how you like connect with the car, like you're, where you're sitting and it holds you in place. The steering wheel gives you a nice feel, it's something to get feedback from the car. I think both of those in drifting are crucial and it, it, they're often overlooked. All right, Fed, what is step number one? Step number one is to remove the airbag. We need to disconnect the battery, right? If you choose to, that would be probably a good idea. Yeah? Yeah. Are we going to disconnect the battery? Up to you. <laughs> if you're going to be in there, I'm not worried about it. Let's disconnect the battery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bought the hood. Before we... Okay, we'll just jump into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead and look at it. Fed's looking at it. He said we should get the tools. I just started the video. I'm hyper. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get shit done. Step number one, torque spits. I don't know this is the size. Yep. Yay! Hooray! Minor freak out moment on this. I'm taking these bolts out to get the airbag off because they're torques and you can't really see them. And one of them was really tight, but Federico Dominican MacGyver over here got it handled because he's a pro. <laughs> People are gonna say that I, I don't work on my own car. Yeah, it's like every, you don't rotate your brains. <laughs> I rotate. Marco's not here, so I make Fed help me. <laughs> not really. He just, I, I don't know. I just was kind of giving him shit, and I was like, Fed, you're gonna see her on this project, and he was down, so. 
it wait it I'm not even gonna make an excuse I didn't even I just didn't feel like doing it today I've been working on shit non-stop this week I need some help fed and you're coming through with the save and I appreciate you for that I mean I, I repay I pay I'll help you with your shit too <laughs> we've got to do a turbo kit on his truck which is gonna be way more payment than this steering wheel yeah, I'm going to have to rack up some points. <laughs> some some help of work points. Three, two, one. Da, 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 da. Bang, bang. <laughs> Diffuse the bomb. So, the red one and the black one are for the horn. This guy is the one that is for the airbag. So you need me to get your cutters to cut the red and black one? Yeah. Okay. This will keep them warm for now. One Corvette airbag to add to the blow up pile. <laughs> That's the uh, airbags to blow up pile. What we do is we center this, get this as close to center as possible. You wanna do that once you have more? Is that center there? And then we'll probably have to redo this anyways once we do the center bolt. We should make sure it's centered so that the steering hub adapter goes on centered. And sometimes it's a good idea too to bolt your steering wheel hub adapter to your quick release because sometimes it'll change the bolt pattern a little bit. Uh, in my case, it did because I had a Momo hub adapter with a uh, gotcha. I think a Sparco pattern on the wheel, so a Nardi pattern on the wheel, so it actually changed it so I had to redo it. Gotcha. In this case, everything's NRG, so it'll probably work. A little better than my setup, but my car is a little harder to get a wheel on there. Alrighty. Bang. Bang! We need to get the steering wheel puller. You can just jiggle it off. You could try. I might. I didn't want to. Oh hell no! No. It looks like it kind of moved. Yeah, it kind of did move. Let's try again. I don't think it's moving anymore. Is it? It's hard for me to hit it because I have yeah. such a limited range of motion. Wheel puller. Weird thing is, usually there's threaded holes for you to put your steering wheel puller. Oh. Um, and here we just have this. Slot. I don't even know what. Very interesting way of doing it. It's not a nut, it's just threading into the aluminum. Huh. Uh, it's wanting to walk up. Mm hmm. Seems to have done something. This is what we're resorting to at this point. We're cutting this off. The uh, back plastic piece. We'll update in a minute and explain why. Right there, so there's no way we're gonna get a nut through the inside there. This is completely in vain. Uh, mint uh, thing for sale now. Explaining what's happening, Fed. So they expect you to drill out these two holes right here. Well, they took. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Mark. Yeah, they expect you to drill these two holes right here and then thread them so you can put your steering wheel puller bolts through, but. That's dumb. So we were trying to get a nut to the back side here, but there's no space. The steering wheel is right up on this plastic piece, which is called the clock spring. So. So we try to do well. Okay. Yeah. 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 It moves. So, oh, it was recording. It. It's okay, recording. So we're gonna push it back on. Make sure it's straight. Goes back to center. You say that's like center, center? Is there? Seems like it. Okay. Success! Piece of shit. It's actually really light. Is it? Oh, wow. It's made of aluminium. Mint steering wheel for sale. Come on. Um, that was way harder than it should have been because 
like that explained, no spot for the steering wheel puller. It literally, from what I found online, you drill a hole and tap it to use a steering wheel puller, which makes no sense. So that was fun, but we got it off. That's the main, the main thing. When you start a project and you're trying to figure out how to do something, tools all on that foreboard, tools all on this foreboard, <laughs> all that takes the steering wheel off. Next up, reinstall your plastic trim things. I didn't even show you guys as taking them off because we were just caught up in the project. Steering wheel saw is pretty simple. I'm not gonna have to uh, really walk you guys through it, but that's that's what we're doing. All right, Fed? Yeah. 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 Also, Fed is 100% determined to make my horn work. Yeah, because we're not going to make this like those janky 240 bills. See, this is how your horn works. Ready? All right. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Update, we got this piece in. Look at how well this fits. This is actually pretty well designed. Does it rub? A little bit. They always rub, but that's not as bad as it used to be. Never tighten this on the first try. Because if you have to take it off, then you gotta do a whole Oh, thing, I so see. So, so just put, put right the now. steering wheel on first. Yeah. Check it and then do that. So let's do the hub adapter and then steering wheel. Yeah, actually we could just get the steering wheel on now just to make sure it's straight okay number go ahead and explain to the the viewers what's going on here fed so this you can only go on this way for the the turn signal that ring is what turns the turn signals off when you turn the wheel and turn it back and if you look in here there's a square cut out in the hub adapter to accommodate that but the hub adapter is set so that these are like this these are centered this piece needs to go on like this for the steering wheel to be center. And it's actually gonna sit like this. So I'm gonna have to get the adapter from NRG. Which will put, put it back straight, realistically. But it's okay for now. I, I should have paid more attention when figuring out what I wanted. Would you have, would it have given it to me? Oh no, this isn't gonna work. Why? It's the bigger bolt size. <laughs> right, that was a lot less fun than we anticipated, but it's done. <clears throat> Before we test out the steering wheel, I want to put one of these stickers on. So make sure your area is clean. I did. I cleaned it with a rag. <laughs> For it. <laughs> That's sick. It's me plus Boosted Factory, or times. We multiply, we don't, we don't add. Dude, that <clears throat> looks awesome. That freaking gold is like so cool, man. It changes colors when you... Is this, I wonder what this one is. Okay, that one's just gray. <clears throat> so sick. All right, so me and Fed had a computer steering wheel and slash interior setups. There's his, which also has a quick release. Neochrome. All red with LEDs. Dude, we gotta do that to mine. You gotta help me order that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then my interior. I think mine's a little bit classier. Let me turn my steering wheel straight. Just because of the tan, you know? We both have Corvettes with aftermarket steering wheels and most, I feel like most Corvette owners never modify their steering wheels or buy aftermarket. I've had a lot of comments about mine was quick release. Everyone's like, oh my God, do you have a quick release on your Corvette? That's crazy. Yeah, so this is like super rare. We both live together and have them. That's nice. <laughs> so I just took it around the block. It feels really good. I, I always forget how much of a difference that a steering wheel can make. When you go from like a big clunky steering wheel to a nice small like sport steering wheel, it just makes like a massive difference in how the car feels. Which is why I suggest it as one of the very first mods you should do. Huge thanks to Fed for helping out. Steerheading the project, Steer doing head. the majority of the work. <laughs> um, it worked out well. If, if I didn't have him here, honestly, I probably would have gotten frustrated and 
call it quits for the night or something because it, it it took some ingenuity to get that steering wheel off. But we got it off. We persevered. We succeeded. Horn doesn't work still though. Horn doesn't work still and the steering wheel is crooked. So I'm going to hit up Boosted Factory and see if they sell the um, clocking adapter thing for it. But otherwise, everything's good. Everything's solid. Yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. Uh, it. It works. It bolts it on and it, it feels good and I, I'm pretty stoked to have it. Oh, oh, the last thing I was going to say was this project's really exciting for me because I never thought that I would actually do it and follow through with getting the project and then I got it and it was like, oh, I'm going to do all these mods and I'm like, it's probably going to take forever for that to happen and now they're just like falling into place. Like, it's just awesome. I'm, re I'm really stoked for it. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you guys.